welcome back to my channel. I know over the past year, the whole economy has really struggled as a whole, and everybody, including myself, has lost a lot of money. But even though it's been a really rough year so far, July was the best month of the year, and in fact, it was even the best month since November of 2020. In July, the S&P went up about 9%, which is the top 500 companies in the United States, and the NASDAQ went up about 12%. But even after this recovery, the S&P and the NASDAQ are still well below where they were in the beginning of the year. And this is because the S&P went down about 25 to 30%. So, you know, making up 9% is not quite enough to bring you to even. But there is the question now of, is the stock market back? So is one great month good enough? Should you put all your money back in? And is it just, you know, the time to buy, I guess. And the quick answer is, I'm not exactly sure. I can't tell the future. No one can. So if anyone tells you a definite answer of if the stock market is going to go up or down, you can know with 100% certainty that they're not telling you the exact truth because, you know, they can't tell the future. But there are some signs that indicate things are pointing up. And we can really tell how the stock market is doing over the next week because there are a lot of things coming out such as earnings reports and job reports that will kind of tell us the health of our economy. Now there are some negatives that are still around. Inflation was still really high in June and will likely be really high in July. However, the market seems to be anticipating that it is going to be lower than it was in June. So we will have some relief there. Instead of the 9%, you know, maybe it will fall down to 8.5%, I'm not exactly sure. But if it could just stop going up, that would be great. But really, this week will kind of tell us where we're at. Over the past week or so, 279 of the 500 S&P 500 companies have reported their earnings, and 77.8% of them have exceeded their expectations. So, I mean, it's not saying that they're doing better than last year. For example, I know Apple made less money in this quarter than they did the previous year however it was above their expectations so you know we're happy with it and this is largely because everyone's expectations at this point were so low so if you just kind of make a mistake when we're expecting a huge downfall then we can celebrate it and the stocks will go up so if the remaining 50 percent or so of the s p 500 companies also keep this trend and have good earnings reports, then the stock market will have a good month and will maybe even start the road to recovery. And this is for more than just the S&P 500 companies. There are over 200 companies that are releasing their earnings reports on Monday, around 300 on Tuesday, and then over 500 on Wednesday and Thursday. So we're getting a lot of information here on just the overall economy as a whole, because now we will learn what actually happened in the second quarter, which is April through the end of June. And then after we learn a lot from all of these earnings reports, we will also see the jobs report. So this is kind of saying, you know, how is unemployment doing and just how is the health of jobs essentially in the country is the easiest way to explain it. And if unemployment goes way up, then that's not a good thing, as you can guess. And if it goes way down, then, you know, that is a good thing. And even if all of these earnings reports are good, you know, it is generally a good thing for the stock market if the earnings reports are good. However, it does not mean we're out of the woods yet. If it looks like all the earnings reports are good and then we hear that inflation is higher, then we would expect for the Fed to increase the interest rate even more, which would then, in fact, hurt the economy because when it costs more money to borrow money, less people spend money. So when the Fed increases the interest rates to combat inflation, then the economy, in fact, is supposed to slow down. So if all these earnings reports are high and inflation is high, then the economy could still fall apart. <laughs> um, so in the review, July was a really good month for the economy as a whole. A majority of the earnings reports that we have seen so far were really good for the second quarter and the S&P went up about 9%, and the NASDAQ went up about 12%. So this was the best month that we have had since November of 2020. So what does it mean going forward? Well, I will take it as a good thing, because anytime the stock market does well, I'm happy about it. But it is not necessarily a guarantee that the stock market will go up 
and unfortunately it could still collapse if inflation keeps on going up. So now it's time for everybody's favorite part of the video, the joke of the day. Joke of the day, joke of the day, boop boop, joke of the day. Where do polar bears keep their money? In snow banks. So thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and you can join the 76 other subscribers as part of my fan club. And if you like the video, leave a like. And if you have any comments on the video or any ideas for future videos, leave it in the comment section below.